All right, this, this right here is my 1985 Plymouth Grand Fury dressed up undercover car. This was a regular sedan salon that I purchased. Pretty much a base model car, no options, just nothing. The only options this thing really had, air conditioning. And after busting up some police cars and sourcing up parts, figured this base model, since it's already got no options, would be perfect to do a clone of the car from the movie Short Time. It's already got crank windows, manual locks. Bench seat, also in near mint condition. Acquired a set of police rallies with a beautiful full set of those uh, dog dish police caps with the drilled slotted holes. Actually, I bought about five sets of those until I found four that I liked. And I put the four that I liked together. Got the beautiful set that's on this car. Uh, it's an extremely straight car. I actually had this car painted. Had a really gorgeous job done to it. I mean, it's straight as can be. It looks like glass. Right over the Pentastar, nice and straight going over the hood. And we took the car apart when we were going to paint it. So you know, all the bezels, they're all cleaned up and buffed. I buffed all the chrome on this car. I sat and polished everything for probably about hours and hours and hours. And I also started with a very clean car to begin with. This car was, I mean, the paint was kind of faded. It was, it originally was white. It was kind of faded and peeling, so it looked kind of shitty. But there was no rust on this car. It was rust free. This is a clean car. This car actually has 47,000 original miles on it. So yeah, I started with the cleanest, nicest diplomat that I could find. And yeah, here's the finished products. This is gorgeous, overly done Grand Fury. I mean, it's insane how much time and money went into this car. It was just nobody ever gives this much care to one of these. Yeah, those rockers, perfect condition. I actually left the rocker trim off the car just so it wouldn't trap in any water or moisture. I thought it'd be better to just keep that off. It has all four wheel-up moldings. They're all in great shape. They're not all um, faded and, and uh, icky looking. They're nice and shiny and clean. Pretty straight. Back window trim's all there, all polished up and clean. It's not sagging off the roof either. Sometimes they come off the roof and start to rub on the doors. I got all the lights and bulbs working. These cars have a lot of bulbs in them. We did the jams. They came up beautiful and clean. Even the door seals are still intact. That is such a major problem on these cars. The door seals on them always go. People always ask me when they're looking for parts, I'm putting one of these out, how are the door seals? And yeah, these are impeccable, they're gorgeous. And back seat, same story, carpeting's perfect, nice original upholstery. How gorgeous it is, dash pad's in good shape. Even the wheel and all the knobs and dials in the car, they feel like new when you touch them. It's really nice. It's probably one of the nicest diplomats slash Grand Fury's left. It's got all the bulbs working in the back. The only thing that I haven't done is I haven't put any of the wigwag lights in it or any of the police lights. Yes, that may happen. That all depends. The car may be going up for sale this week. I may do a run on eBay and if it doesn't get any bites, I'll probably keep going with dressing it up as a cop car and finding little odds and ends things to it. And making it pretty. Yeah, it's got really good tires on it. It's a really good turnkey car. You could hop in this, drive it almost anywhere. I wouldn't hesitate to take this thing on a road trip. I really wouldn't. It's got a nice idle to it. Okay, we'll drive. Yeah, all the vacuum lines are still intact. It is still running on its original lean burn computer which is fine it works i'm not complaining um i had debated taking this nice car and ripping its stock motor out i was gonna put either one of my 340s or my 360 small block in it make this thing a really awesome ass but i just couldn't bring myself to do it because well i mean look at it it, it runs great it drives great it starts right up 
there's nothing wrong with it. I, I'm almost scared to touch it. It's just that nice of a car. I probably should have bought one in worse condition than this if I was with these intentions. But either way, I crank the window up here. But either way, she's a good car. She's a nice car. And uh, no, I look forward to driving it until it sells. And if I do get rid of it, I hope it goes to a good home. Somebody I can appreciate it and take care of it.